with a spicy harissa sauce. Hey guys, sauce. and welcome to another episode There's way too much of eggplant flavor Saturdays. in my mouth. And I enjoyed I this week an by Draco. And the ranch. The special Beautiful presentation, week, we're play flawless some execution. Yeah. We have a winner. Binge Pipe is devoted to education, but will still present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the streaming service that watches you back. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and if the opportunity were to ever arise, I'd be honored to be your power of attorney. Either there's two of you, or my double vision is back. Okay. Okay, here's looking at you. Time for question one. Let's start with... I'm only watching so I can talk to my co-workers. Okay, what do you think of this premise for my Black Mirror spec script? There's this town that seems perfect, but all the women are robots. That's iRobot, dummy. That's Valley of the Dolls, idiot. That's Brave New World, stupid. Or that's the Stepford Wives, moron. Uh, I'm gonna have to guess. What'd you guys pick? Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, yeah. The Stepford Wives is where all the oh. men replace their wives with submissive robots. Interesting. And so, I've never actually watched Black Mirror, but I'm pretty sure every episode ends with a British person looking into the camera and saying, Oh, dear God, we've been in a computer this whole time. Is that about right? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's one for you. A few bricks shy of a full set. Suppose Danish company Lego wanted their next Lego movie to be set close to home, in Denmark. Which classic character would we watch go to pieces? Lego Frankenstein, Lego Captain Ahab, Lego Hamlet, or Lego Gregor Samsa? Okay, who chose what? It's the man who built the monster and not the monster itself that's the wrong answer. Thor, this answer blows. Here's the answer that got away. Both Prince Hamlet and Legos are Danish. Ah. Sure, having to kill the uncle that murdered your father is tough, but stepping on a Lego with bare feet, that's the real tragedy. Why do we do it with three? Feast your eyes upon this. Grind it like Beckham. And get out your dollar bills because it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read seven names and for each I want you to tell me if it's an English football club that plays in the Premier League or a male strip club. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between an English football club or a male strip club. And you're both doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Man City. Wow. Crystal Palace. Club Boomerang. Queens Park Rangers. Good night, Barcelona. Stoke City. Swinging Richards. It would be really sad if you bragged about this. Let's get on with it, shall we? I don't need you anymore. How about this one? Diet word salad. Which of these is an actual flavor of Dr. Pepper? Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper, Cherry Vanilla Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Vanilla Dr. Pepper Cherry, or Diet Dr. Pepper Cherry Vanilla? Who picked what? Obviously, the official order of these words is Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. Yep. As opposed to Dr. Pepper Cherry Diet Vanilla, my orthodontist who was raised in a progressive polyamorous multi-parental family where everybody had silly last names. Like 
take a good look at fashion is my passion i may not be an indian woman but i've always wanted to wear a sari oops that's not spelled right how should i fix my typo sorry not sorry sorry not sorry sorry not sorry or sorry not sorry uh that's gonna pick the bomb just for fun Hope you like what you picked. Here it is, the wrongest answer. <laughs> Allow me. I yes, the correct funny. way to spell that draped garment is S-A-R-I. Ah, okay. Also, any other typos you find anywhere else in this game are 100% intentional. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. Let's see which of you is my favorite. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player one, on the other hand, you could use a little help, and there's no shame in that. Oh, that means it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for your opponent to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus if they choose incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. Better get those answers in fast, player two, before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Really good stuff. Six trombones is not a parade. Okay. Let's try... What if they read Game of Thrones in Game of Thrones? What Ian McEwan novel would Cersei Lannister and her brother Jamie most identify with and enjoy as part of their winter book club? Amsterdam, The Children Act, The Cement Garden, or Atonement? Brace yourself. You got the pointy end of the screw player, too. This question just got some added security. Um... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be quick. Uh-oh. Let's see who got it. Farewell, Felicia. <laughs> Here's what a right answer looks like. Ian McEwan's The Cement Garden is about a brother and sister who fall in love, so that would really speak to Cersei and Jamie Lannister. Spoiler warning, the Cement Garden yeah, would be a great time, nickname so for Jorah Mormont. Way to screw player one. This is your cash now. Oh, here's a good one. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus, Octopus coffee, coffee, Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? The doctor, the doctor that is... Name means conqueror in Latin. Octopus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? I have no idea. Have okay, guess. what'd you pick? <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein's first name is Victor, which is Latin for conqueror. Oh, wow. I, I could have sworn that was just a guess. Making things even more That's confusing. Crazy. Victor Frankenstein's middle name is Monster. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next up, keep that blade away from pigeons. And hey, stress cut oh. with my sore. I don't think I've done one of these in a while in this game. It's time for us. Dipper's time. Get those typing fingers ready, because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, head in the game. Read this gibberish phrase and figure out what common expression it rhymes with. Society biz. A nice dove knife. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Don't do the same thing all the time. Sad. Um, I don't know actually. Change things up to be zesty. Yeah, I got nothing. 
I'm not just gonna let the timer run out. Let's see how you did. Player two. Congratulations, oh. you're the most wrong. That's not even close. You're gonna kick yourself. I have never heard of that okay, before. Okay, let's move along. Na, 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 na. And now, my favorite instrument is the laptop. Based on elevation, which EDM DJ is making the highest beat drop? Diplo dropping the beat from the mesosphere, Marshmallow dropping the beat from the stratosphere, Calvin Harris dropping the beat from the troposphere, or Zed dropping the beat from the thermosphere? Let's see how that shook out. Any last words? Not too late. Oh, dang it. The preferred answer is... The thermosphere is 50 to 440 miles above the Earth. The only higher layer of the atmosphere is the exosphere. Oh. Might want to sit this one out. I can't imagine a beat dropping from that high would end well. This one's called... Now, that's a complete breakfast. So, Count Chocula was chocolate-flavored, and Booberry was blueberry, but... What the f**k was Frankenberry? Raspberry-flavored, cherry-flavored, strawberry-flavored, or mint-flavored? I love this part. Whoa, no, oh, not raspberry. It's strawberry. Okay, okay. Frankenberry was strawberry-flavored cereal. Yep. But the real Lola. scary spectacle would happen a couple hours later in my upstairs bathroom. Okay. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Animal parts. Animals are made up of lots of parts. I hope you know what they are. Good luck. I know Charmander isn't. Okay. Pretty sure I have No, they have bills, not beaks, dude. Mom with a fanny pack. <laughs> oh, brother. Ah. Wow, I just lost a lot of cash from that. player one you sure did win this game but remember there are no winners in the grave no winners in the grave you don't know jack hey 
we're gonna play again. Because we're doing two rounds of this game. Binge Pipe has mixed feelings about presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we will accept your peaceful surrender. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I am definitely not hosting this from my bathroom. But maybe open a window, just in case. I view you two as my children, in that I've already chosen a favorite. All right, we're taking off. Time for question one. To get things rolling, let's get horny. Every generation thinks the kids after them are way too whiny, and that includes the ancient Vikings. What was that little monster Grendel running to his mom to tattle about? Eric the Red stole my land, Thor trapped me in ice, Beowulf pulled my arm off, or Sven Forkbeard ate my horse. Oh, I guess he's still playing. Um... And how do we do? In the epic poem he stars in, Beowulf rips Grendel's arm off. Ah, oh, okay. And Grendel's mom was a dragon. You think kids these days could deal with having a dragon for a mom? Yeah, right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Up next, marry me! Asking someone to marry you is nice, but who cares if only one person hears the proposal? If you want everyone to appreciate how frigging adorable you are when you pop the question, how can you reach the most people? A stadium ad in the FIFA World Cup Finals? A celebrity announcement during the Oscars? A 30-second Super Bowl ad? Or a 2 a.m. tweet by a U.S. president? Okay, let's take a look. That'll run you about $5 million, and, uh, no. Oh, look at this. All these choices would reach millions, but the World Cup Finals is seen by up to a billion viewers. Are you kidding me? Pretty cool if marriage is one of your life goals! Why do we do it with three? Introducing... Running a sparkling clean campaign. And oh joy, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read seven names, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's a political action committee, you know, the kind that privately raise money to influence elections, or part of the name of a detergent packet for laundry or dishes, you know, like Tide Pods. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a political action committee or a detergent pod. And you're both doing this together, so look alive. Let's okay, go. Okay, let's do it. Heartland Values Pack. Vivid White Bright Pack. Wait, what? Three in one power pack. Back. Ah, one the T pack. Platinum action pack. Almighty pack. You really excel in the middle lane, but player two, you oh, just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Looks like it's screw ah. time. <laughs> That's correct, Binge Pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question. Yeah, I was getting tired of this too. <laughs> Happy to engage with you. I don't need oh, it's Brian again. I call this one. Close, but not close enough encounters. Which title character is an alien? The Martian, the Giver, the Thing, or... Well, what do you know? Oh! 
You knew that screw was coming, Player One. This one goes out to my grandma. Love you, Gramps. So who got it? You killed it. Your chances, I mean. <laughs> the monster that attacks an Arctic research station did in fact come out of a ship from outer space. <laughs> I hate confusing titles. I walked out of the Iron Lady furious it wasn't a movie about Meryl Streep fighting crime in a suit of armor. Okay. It's time for Rear-Ended by Good Intentions. You know that coexist bumper sticker all your well-meaning friends slap on their $80,000 SUVs? Sure you do. What's the O in the coexist bumper sticker? Earth, a peace sign, a yin-yang symbol, or nothing, it's just an O. So what'd you pick? The O in coexist is represented by a peace sign. <laughs> and where is the flying spaghetti monster on this so-called symbol of inclusion? It's the perfect exclamation point. <laughs> Round one is history. Time to count your chips while sitting at the table. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, you're doing the bad thing. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need for an additional screw. And don't forget, round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. Player one, I'd answer fast if I were you, unless you're looking to get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. It's like the first round didn't even matter. <laughs> Six trombones is hey. not a parade. Try this on for size. I'm in love with your body. Boy, I sure hope famously shaggy-haired British singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran doesn't totally change his look before this game comes out. If I sheared Ed Sheeran like an adult sheep, how often would I typically shear him? Twice a year, once a year, once every two years, or once in a lifetime? And of and how do we do? Okay, now. I really wanted you to pick this one. An adult sheep is typically sheared once a year. Hey, Christopher! Player choice time! We'd like to give you the illusion of control. Would you like a question about mom? Or a question about dad. Contribute your percentage of the choice now. I'm going to go with this one. Here are the votes. Oh, wow, that was anonymous. You have engaged with the process. A question about mom. Je mangé tous les oeufs. Sept. Behold, a question about mom. Whose theme song describes them as a bad mother? Murphy Brown, Allie McBeal, Roseanne, or Shaft? So watch oh, out. Great. You're dealing with the screw, player one. Your answers are on the go. I was about to. Okay. Got it. Hope you like what you picked. Wait, I thought we were going to cut Roseanne out of this question. This is the one you missed. A I lyric so. and a theme to this film describes this cat Shaft as a bad mother. If you found this question misleading, I'm sorry, I was just talking about Shaft. Yeah, that screw is a good move player too. Enjoy your cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Coming up next, Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth again. Frankenstein. The Octopus Coffee, Coffee Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth Frank Frank Stein, Stein. It's Monster. Called Stupid by Aristotle. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Okay, what'd you pick? Right. About now you should feel ashamed. Dang. 
In Aristotle's History of Animals, he called the octopus a stupid creature. <laughs> A little bad blood there when he was a boy, an octopus used to call him stupid Aristotle. Na, 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 na. Next, is auto tune still a thing? God, I hope so. I brought out the auto tune for this segment I call Tuna Rumors. <laughs> Tell me which Atlantic bluefin tuna rumor is true. I heard if they stop swimming, they die. I heard they are cold-blooded. I heard the biggest one was 200 pounds. Or I heard they are vegetarians. I love this part. What? Sucks to be you. It shouldn't be this hard. Tuna need water moving over their gills to breathe. So if they stop moving, they will suffocate. It's okay to dish on fish when the tuna rumors are true. There is no hiding from... Insert reference to one of their hit singles here. Which concert would be an example of the weekend not playing a weekend show? A Saturday show in Mexico, a Sunday show in Canada, a Saturday show in Brazil, or a Sunday show in Egypt? So who got it? In order to honor the Muslim Holy Day on Friday, a weekend in Egypt is Friday and Saturday. Sunday's like a Monday. Which is probably why they don't get Garfield. I think it was gonna be one of the Sunday ones. You made it to the attack. Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. Spoiler alert, they die. I'm gonna give you some killer plot points. Uh oh One again. Player one takes it. Almost got the pot. Nice that work, time. player one. You won, which I'm pretty sure is the greatest thing you've done to date. Way to shut down the haters who said you don't know Jack. All right, that's gonna be it for this installment of You Don't Know Saturday. Special thanks to Jacob for joining me for this week. 
Uh, next week, we will be continuing. Uh, you don't know Saturdays into September. So, until then, see so ya. everyone is.